Sentencing day for Weathersfield man accused of scamming people out of millions. Michael Goldberg got 10 years behind bars today for his Ponzi scheme. News News8's Jamie Muro has reaction from victims who say they were swindled big time. One woman says she lost $200,000. A 93-year-old woman says she lost everything. One parent says he can't buy clothes, can't buy gas. He may even lose his home. And for 12 years, Weatherfield's Michael Goldberg ran an elaborate Ponzi scheme. Well, today was his sentencing day, and Judge Robert Shatney said it's one of the biggest breaches of trust as bad as he's ever seen. Inside this federal courthouse, we heard stories not just of financial loss, but hardship, desperation, and pain. We've worked hard. I work two jobs. I live alone. I told Michael I did not want to lose my money. He goes, if anything, you wouldn't get the interest, but your money you wouldn't lose. It, it has put me into uh, a financial tailwind, and um, it has affected me and everybody around me. 40-year-old Michael Goldberg turned himself in more than a year ago after running the Ponzi scheme. Prosecutors say he took about $30 million from more than 100 investors. Judge Shotney sentenced him to 10 years in prison, along with restitution for his victims. Is there going to be a chance you think that these victims will get some of their money back? There is no question in my mind that everyone that um, was affected by this case and lost money will receive money. Now, Goldberg's defense argued that he should get some credit because he turned himself in. He provided detailed paperwork and worked with FBI investigators for more than 200 hours, but the government said that he only turned himself in because one of the investors was about to go to authorities because promised money was never appearing. He he put a lot of dreams into people. He um, uh, sold me on the fact that I'd be able to pay my mortgage off along with everybody else in my family. He's, to me, he's no different than Bernie Madoff. Goldberg's attorney says his client did not live the life of the high roller. There was no yacht, no second house, no luxurious house even here in Connecticut. What he did do with the money, he gambled away a great deal of it, but it was money from hardworking people. Now, Goldberg says that he wants to correct 12 years of damage but some wonder, actually, if that will ever happen at all. We're on the scene in Hartford today. I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.